Maple Systems offers several innovative HMIs that provide an upgrade path for existing 500 series applications. For simple applications, the transition process is fairly smooth. For more complicated applications, the process will require additional efforts and considerations. In this video, I will point out where to go to find information on converting an HMI 500 series project to run in a 5000 series HMI, provide a brief conversion overview, and demonstrate the process of translating an EasyBuilder 500 project to run in EasyBuilder 5000. To identify what models are available for upgrading from your classic OIT, visit our website at www.maplesystems.com, select Silver Series, scroll to the bottom of the page, and select Click Here for Conversion Documents. Click the Classic model in the table below to view the appropriate upgrade options for your product. Scroll down to view options for your specific model. In this case, for the 520T, the options are the 5056N, 5070NH, and the 5070TH. The table provides a list of features to compare the various models. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select Click Here for HMI 520T conversion document to view a tech note explaining the process for converting your project. Additional conversion documents are available on our website. To access these documents, select Support Center on our website, click Technical Notes, Silver Series Tech Notes, and select the appropriate conversion document. Here I have a sample project open in EasyBuilder 500. We will use this project to demonstrate the translation process into 5000. I'll open each window here just so we can see what the project looked like in EasyBuilder 500. And I'll run an offline simulation so we can get a good idea for what this project really does and, and how it looks. If you're unable to locate your EOB file on your computer, open your project file in EasyBuilder, save your project and select Tools, Compile. To upload your project from an existing HMI, connect the configuration cable to the HMI and to the PC, open Easy Manager and click Upload. Enter a file name and select Open. The EOB file which was extracted from the HMI will later be used to convert the project into EasyBuilder 5000. To convert your EasyBuilder 500 project, open EasyBuilder 5000, select Tools, Translate HMI 500 project, navigate to your EOB file, select Open, and hit Translate. When the translation is finished, the succeeded message will appear. At that point, hit Exit and navigate to your project. You'll find an MTP file in the same directory where the EOB file was initially. Highlight the file and select Open. Verify all the windows translated properly by clicking on them in the object list. Save the project, compile the project, and run the project in offline simulation to verify that everything looks OK. You may notice that some things look a little different, and some items may require additional attention. To exit the simulation, right click and select Exit Simulation. 
You may want to modify the fonts in your project after converting from 500 to take advantage of the true type fonts available in Easy Builder 5000. To modify the fonts, rerun the translation utility, uncheck the Use HMI 500 ASCII font files, select the appropriate font file from the, the drop down list. and select Translate. You'll notice that fonts look a little cleaner with the TrueType font. If you do select a different font though, you may need to modify the size of the objects or ensure that the font size is appropriate for your specific project. In some cases, as you see here, you may need to reposition the text on your object. For specific information about objects that may require additional attention, select the Help, Help Topics, click Parts List, and sort alphabetically. The Help file contains a list of all objects within Easy Builder. Click on a specific item to obtain an interactive graphic where you can click in a field to obtain information. As you move your mouse around on the graphic, you'll see that it'll change from a pointer to a little hand. When you see the hand, that means there's an active link beneath your hand. For more information, please visit our website at www.maplesystems.com.